All right, guys, we're back with another video. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit of a uh, walkthrough slash talk through. Uh, it's not done, but I really enjoyed this last update from a survival standpoint. Let me stop over here. I know I walk a lot when I start a video, and I got to stop doing that. But, uh, yeah, you know I, all, I like to play in survival, and yesterday with the addition of fishing, it just, it really wanted me to create something, just a spot to where I can fish, collect food, and not really have to worry about the villagers, um, like, for the first time. And I thought that was great. And Dizzle did more than just working on... Our village base is right over there, by the way. So I kept this in. I still got to do some things to this. You know, I, I did the video of the epic fishing rod and uh, epic bait bucket over here. And I kept fishing... Honestly, I just was enjoying myself. I know it's like, oh my god, you're just throwing the reel in there and uh, catching fish. But, I mean, you're catching more than fish. There's other stuff that you're getting, which I really like the addition they add. Um, I did not explore more with the bait bucket, so I'm I'm curious to see, like, what more we can get with that. But it just really, from a, from, from a survival perspective, I enjoyed it. I just, like I said, I, I detached myself from... The village because they're over there working like i have them assigned to machines they're doing what they need to do and i'm just able to go out and explore an area which i did i i didn't think i was going to build over here didn't think i really had a reason to other than for looks but this is just my one of my fishing spots i think from a design point you know we can do probably some, some more custom stuff over here but i did i did add some things Nice little bridge going to this area over here. This is where I'm going to put actually the wheat because, you know, we can make sushi. So I'm going to put the grain over here. And it's just more for looks because, I mean, obviously I can get seeds from the, the villagers over there. But I'm going to try and keep as much of this as possible. I only lost a few few bushes and one giant rock so far. Well, those rocks are going to come out for sure. But no trees have been lost yet, thankfully. Uh, I did lose a few of these because I had to, and because I actually had one, actually two skellies come so far uh, when I was um, been fishing. One, I don't know why, but he was in the water and he aggroed onto me, and he was gonna try and come over here and uh, get me, but he stopped. I didn't think he realized he wasn't gonna make it. Then I had a skelly, a skelly, skelly knight, not just a skelly. Then another skelly knight. When I was making this on this side, he aggroed onto me actually from over there. He swam across, and we played Ring Around the Rosies until uh, daylight came, and he went into the ground. I didn't feel like fighting him because I was still building, and I didn't want to risk losing anything. Like, I had a couple of plants here that I had to destroy. I destroyed one thinking, because I had to get this post in, and I destroyed the wrong one. So I ended up losing two of these. Uh, no, not those. The ones that are over there. But I'm coming up with this, again, just places to fish. Uh, the view, the view is great. So now there's just, for me, there's like just more reasons to explore. Build more little campsites like this. You know, this is, the sun is setting. You know, spots just to, to throw this over and see what we could catch. I'm going to put another bed in here. Again, I know I keep saying this, but eventually, guys, Dizzle will more than likely will be playing with somebody or multiple people. It's, it is going to happen. I, I see that probably here in the near future. Um, I'm just waiting for them to add more and more to survival. And this this was, for me, was a gr really good update from a, from a survival perspective. One thing I did notice, and I'm and I'm curious if they can do this with with the uh, the grapple, is it seems like this epic fishing rod is lasting a decent amount of time, and obviously you can make different rarities of this. 
So I'm just curious if they could do the same thing with the grapple then, rather than uses. I would think I'd be more more happy with that, even if I had to craft another one. But yeah, I made this... Actually, I started with the bridge, believe it or not, out of all of this. We know... Uh, look how happy he is. Look at this. Look at this view. This is just great. The way the sun comes in, reflects. But I started with this bridge right here. This I, I decided to keep in because this was... I think it just fits fits in here right now. We may or may not keep this you know, long term. You know, in the, uh, the actual tutorial, we put the fire pit in front, but I didn't want to destroy these. Uh, again, I'm trying to keep as much of this as possible. So it, just, it just fits really nice in here. But then, yeah, I started with the bridge. We went through a couple of variations of, like, just different, different material, trying to see what contrasted well with each other. And I just put the, the that on the bottom, so it gave a little bit of, a little bit of life to it. Uh, not just using uh, umber. Wish we could get different color pieces, not just from the builds, but then the the little gazebo came into came into play, and I didn't have it bumped out on the sides. And then you know, let's bump it out because I want to put some storage when I catch my fish. I did that. Just put a little seat over here. Just a little bit of decoration. That, again, that wasn't the intent. The whole intent. It was more for functionality. I've got the juicer here, the food processor, another grill over here with some storage. You know, for me, this was building this to be a you know little aesthetic and then some functionality because, again, I really uh, I thought this was a great update. It it got me detached from the village, so I'm happy with this. I just wanted to share share this again. This isn't a hundred percent complete, but at least wanted to share with you guys where where I'm at, because um, I worked on this yesterday. I just put some music on and I just just started building. I was again content with where this came, where the where the move was with the next with this update. You know, we got the compass up top, which I like. I've been fishing and eating sushi while I build this at the same time, or eating sushi, eating the fish, so I don't have to worry about you know going to find food far away. I didn't do the full fireplace with the cover like we did because this isn't big enough, the the, the deck here, and it, it gets in the way of your view. You can see already how the fire hits there. You can if you can imagine the, the roof line being there. So and I didn't want that. I wanted to be able to look around without any uh any obstruction. But yeah, this is where I'm at. This is the video for today, guys. I just wanted to share that uh you know, this build, again, it took me away from the village, but in a good way, for, at least for me, I'm happy. I think a very good update. I like the compass. Um, the spyglass, nice little novelty, little little thing to use. And then uh, the fishing, of course. I think the fishing is great. I'm looking forward to going, finding more fishing spots and uh, catching more legendary fish. See what else is out there. Let me know your thoughts. Again, this isn't anything too spectacular as far as dizzle comes up with but i thought this was uh a nice cute little um fishing camp is what dizzle's calling it this is where i've been hanging out <laughs> honestly since the update uh, i know i got tutorials to do and they're coming um but i have not touched that at all <laughs> so i wanted to be honest with you and let you know where where i was uh this is what i've been working on having fun with the game uh, let me know your thoughts what do you all think of the fishing what do you think of the compass updates uh, you like it? Put your uh, put your comments put your comments in there, guys. And Dizzle will see you on the next one.